Chapter 12. I wake up in the morning and make some chai for Ma. She likes ginger and it's good for her stomach, so I grate some in. Baba has left early as usual, so it's up to me to make sure she's okay. I'm relieved that her forehead is cool and Ma says she feels better. I'm packing my books when I see Ma stand up, wobble, and reach for the wall for support. Without it, she would have fallen. Ma, I say, today you listen to me. It's my turn to take care of you. I'm ready to have her argue with me, but instead she slides back onto her mat. I hope Faisal will guess that I'm taking care of Ma today when I don't show up. Minnie, she says, go and see if there's water. We are late already, hope it's not gone. I take the buckets out to the tap, twist it open, and exhale. There is water, it's a thin stream, and it takes a while to fill the buckets, but I manage. Next, I need to boil the water. While it's heating, I get my history book so I can study while I wait. I sit near the open door where there's the most air, but instead of studying, I mostly daydream about living in a house with windows and running water. Would that be too much to ask? I keep checking the pot, but the water stays still as ever, even though the flame is dancing in blue. Does it always take this long to boil? I don't know because Ma takes care of the water every morning. When I finally see the faint, first faint bubbles emerge in the pot, I hop on my feet as if I'm cheering a runner to the finish line. You did it, water! While I strain it, I think about what the other doctor at the clinic had explained to us last year when Ma fell sick. That we needed to purify the water like this every day. Because even though we can't see them, there are germs in the water that can make us sick. The whole process is so long that I see why it's easy to skip over some days. Afterwards, I force myself to go back to my studies. Failing my exam is not an option if I want to get a job that pays well. When Ma wakes up a few hours later, she sits up and says that she feels better. Minnie, you will learn to make rotis. Ma, I'm studying and you've already taught me, I tell her. Yes, but I haven't shared all my secrets and your roadies need to be in perfect circles, she says. My first attempts were shaped like anything but circles. The secret is in the dough, Ma says, and in making sure it doesn't stick to the rolling board. Come on now, we'll both make a batch. When Ma makes this bread, she never measures out the flour, except in fistfuls. Now she shows me exactly how much to use. Then she teaches me to build a flour well in a shallow dish. In the center of the well, I add a pinch of salt. Next, Ma teaches me how to add water slowly and incorporate the flour until a ball of dough is formed. Then it's time to drizzle oil and knead the ball. For some reason, my ball isn't as smooth and easy to knead as hers. Minnie, this is important. Her voice sounds urgent. Why is this so important? Why now, I ask. I'll tell you when Baba comes home, she says. And later... When Baba comes home, Ma says she has an announcement. I have decided that I will leave tomorrow and go to the village where my mother and my youngest sister can care for me. We both open our mouths to speak and she raises her palm at us. Let me finish, she says. I've been lying here thinking all day, she continues. I need a real rest so I stop falling sick all the time and Minnie, you need to be in school, not home taking care of me. You need to pass your exam. Plus, I will get better faster in the village where the air is cleaner, and I know where my my and where I know my sister will be happy to make all my favorite dishes. I look towards Baba, expecting him to object, but his head is bent. Minnie, your mother is right. The most important part. I will ask Anita Ma'am to let Minnie take my place. After school, Instead of coming home, Minnie will go there. I'm so shocked, I'm speechless. Ma laughs. My Minnie, without words. I've never done a job in a Mem Sahib's house, I say. I don't know how. You're a smart girl, and I'll tell you all that you need to know. I've already taught you how to make my rotis. So that's what the cooking lesson was about. Can't you tell her you'll be back in a month? Baba asks. No, Ma says firmly. No, I can't do that. Why not? 
I dare to ask, because she might hire someone else. Then when I return, I'll have no job. We are all silenced. How do we argue with that? The room suddenly feels more airless than ever, and I feel like I'm suffocating. Once again, my future's not in my hands. Again, it seems to be an Anita Mams, hands that I've never touched or known.